Is it me or is Mattel being lazy in 2022? We have already seen the first two cases and still no brand new releases. We are only getting Thailand variants. I am happy of course for seeing some of these cards being released again. One of which is Darla Vanderson, of course from the 2016 LA Speedway. Just zoom out a little bit for you guys here. As you can see, this is her packaging. But yep, of course, only revealed literally yesterday by me actually, funny enough. I found this on a French website, I believe. Is the 2022 variant of Darla Vanderson. We'll also throw some pictures up right now. Of course, there is her in the packaging. She has a new Thailand release. And here is her Thailand prototype images. We can see two, one from two from the front, and of course the other from the back, which is where her license plate is. So yeah. So today we will be taking a close look at Darla Vanderson, which is one of the Piston Cup race fans, of course. So yeah, this is her 2016 packaging, it was one of the ones that I did get two of. And of course, I do have one open, so I won't be showing you the packaging without, of course, reviewing the one open as well. So yeah, without further ado, of course, if you are all new to the channel, please, 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 I highly advise you subscribing to the channel. I'm changing up my content from of course this week and forever hopefully if I do continue you know making videos daily that is I want to try at least do one a day and you know do them highly edited so you know with all the memes etc you know that's funny right there anyways taking a close look at the packaging now we can see she is part of the LA Speedway series with the ugly Daredevil garage app just it's absolutely ugly just throw it in the bin get rid of it we can see Darla Vanderson's artwork there, pretty cool, with of course some other Pistol Cup races and fans in the background, we can see Brad Miller right there too, looks pretty cool. The Disney Pixar Cars logo of course there as well, with the International Speedway above it for the background. We can see the red background packaging which brings me back vibes of course with the 2016 or 2015 to the 2016 line when there was two years of the red background. We can see Darla's artwork there again. Mattel 3 plus and she is 7 out of 11 in the line of draw the year. Now the cars on the back of the packaging because this is the of course Daredevil Garage era where they didn't bother putting any cars on the back. Where we can see a picture of you know Fred and Marco we can see as well the cars logo. Looks pretty cool in my opinion and now of course here is Darla Vanderson all out of the package. I gotta say she is a nice re-release, of course this is the China one, as you can see on the base, just to show you guys right here, right now, made in China, the 326th day in 2016, so right, right at the end of the year, of course she was released in 2017, and of course 2016 I believe, so yeah, she does look pretty cool, of course now on the, of course, middle of your screen is a picture where she appeared in the movie, right of course next to Elvis, you know, that scene in the International Speedway, as the camera zooms into those lots, of course, you know exactly what I mean. You probably guys know what I mean. Anyways, uh, blah blah blah. Of course, we do have this one, and the reason for the dents. If you didn't watch my video on Chuck Chuck Cables, no, nope, not Chuck Chuck Cables. Timothy Two Stroke. Check it out now. Of course, you know that video right there. Of course, because you know I did explain how this one has dents in, so I am not going to explain it again. But yep. We can see she's got a nice smiling expression here, which looks pretty cool. Two headlights on the side with the nose grill, that looks pretty cool. She's got hazel eyes, and of course hazel eyelids to match the die cast, I guess you can say. She is supposed to have two mirrors, you know, I did get this one for £1 at a boot fair, slash car boot, wherever you are from. We can see the crown here, which suggests she is a Danico fan. On the side, basic generic rims, but of course they've got these like little cowboy stars. Of course we can see the star and of course a cobweb, which looks absolutely cool. On the back we can see the license plate, which is T6ID635. Probably something to do with Pixar, you know, every license plate always is. We can see the rear lights there as well. Here's the other side, not too much to talk about, and yep, pretty cool. There's the base again for you know collectors that want to see them. So yeah, you can make some like pretty cool dioramas with like Polly Puddle Jumper, the other Dinoco fan. Please stop rolling, please stop rolling. Thank you. And Matthew True Blue McCrew, you can make like a little scene where they're all talking, etc. You know, I might make some pictures for you guys right now, of course, and I'll be right back with an outro.
Thank you to everybody who did watch this far into the review of, of course, Darla Vanderson, the car on the far right hand corner, as you can see, next to Polly Puddle Jumper and Matthew True Blue McCrew. Comment down below which one of these three is your favourite. I do like Darla, but Polly is my favourite. If you are new to the channel, of course, you can see a little picture on your screen now. Make sure you do subscribe because you know every bit does help. And of course, the very next video, which will be, of course, tomorrow on the 27th, hopefully, of course, the next one. Peace, guys.